Hey all, so Feature Friday. So we're going to talk a little bit about scanning barcodes with your mobile device uh, to try to find uh, some assets. So get out your tablet and uh, let's get going. Okay, so here we go. So the main navigation is already up. And what I'm going to do is come down here and launch the assets application. And the first thing that you'll notice is that there's a My Assets query. So this is a system query. So if your definition of my assets needs to be different. You'll need to get a hold of your administrator and have them adjust that uh, that query to suit your definition of what my assets is. So in this case, I'm the user custodian of these two, and so I'm going to verify the barcode number by um, by using my camera on the device to scan the barcode. And you can see that the very first asset there, the TBA um, that ends in 472. That's that's the one I'm looking for. So I'm going to go over here to the uh, search icon. Go ahead and click that and then I'm going to go ahead and push on or click the uh, camera icon over on the right as well. That opens up the camera and I assume I'm going to walk up to the particular device and I'm going to put this barcode here in front of the camera, give it a chance to focus, and it scanned the barcode and huh, it could not find that asset number. Well, if you look really close, you'll notice that there is a 404 at the end of this barcode. So there's a disconnect between what the barcode read and the actual asset number that's in Maximo. So I'm going to go ahead and backspace over that, and then I'm going to click Search again, and I should be able to find my asset. And lo and behold, there it is. So now I need to tell somebody that there's a, an issue between what's in the barcode that's on the asset and what's actually in Maximo. So uh, quite simply, I'm going to do a couple of things here. Uh, one is kind of update this asset record. And what I'll do is just update the long description. So we'll go ahead and edit this asset record. Go ahead and click in the long description field. And I'll just speak this in. Barcode actually reads... TBA 176139472404. Then we'll just go over here and save. And we're good. Back to the asset. And then I'm going to put in a service request to the asset management team so that they're aware that there's a disconnect between these two, uh, the barcode and the actual um, Maximo number. So I just say there's an equipment problem, I'll describe the request, and I'll use my voice again, and say barcode on the device does not match the Maximo asset number. Please reconcile. And we submit, and we say we're done. Okay, so the point of all that was to show you how you can easily scan barcodes with the camera on uh, your mobile device. If the lighting conditions are kind of low, or if the camera has difficulty focusing on the barcode, um, it may be a little frustrating to actually get it to read the code. It just depends on the environment, depends on the device, that sort of thing. Uh, but given uh, perfect conditions, you're able to scan those codes and then use them within the mobile applications to search for assets, search for uh, you know anything else that uh, you would read a barcode uh, for. And if there's any uh, discrepancies between what the barcode uh, contains and the Maximo you know record numbers, asset numbers like you saw, uh, then that's something you'll need to uh, sort out with your uh, asset management team to make sure that they're they're consistent. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful and uh, we'll see you next week.